Mr. President, thank you. Folks, I know with every fiber of my being, I know I won't look like I'm 40 years old, but I've been around a little bit. <laughs> All kidding aside, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and I, honest to God, have never more optimistic about America's future if we stick together. Yeah. I really mean it. I'm about to host the NATO nations in Washington. We put them together. We've done — the world's looking to us. Not a joke. The world is looking to America, not to carry their burden, but to lead their hopes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not — I'm going to be inclined to go on longer than I should here, so I'm not going to. We must unite America again. That's my goal. That's what we're going to do. God bless you all, and may God direct our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. President, your political future has hung over the NATO summit a little bit this week. Speaker Pelosi made a point of suggesting that your decision on whether to stay in the race was still open. George Clooney and a handful, handful of lawmakers have called on you to step aside. Reuters is reporting tonight that UAW leadership is concerned about your ability to win. UAW just endorsed me, but go ahead. Thank you. Um, my question for you is, how are you incorporating these developments into your decision to stay? And separately, what concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is that I think I'm the most qualified person to run for president. I beat him once, and I will beat him again. Secondly, the idea — I served in the Senate a long time. The idea that senators and congressmen <clears throat> running for office worry about the ticket is not unusual. And I might add, there were at least five presidents running or incumbent presidents who had lower numbers than I have now, later in the campaign. So there's a long way to go in this campaign. And so I, uh, I'm just going to keep moving, keep moving. And because, look, I got more work to do. We've got more work to finish. There's so much — we made so much progress. Think about it. Think about where we are economically relative to the rest of the world. Name me a world leader who wouldn't want to trade places with our economy. We've created over 800,000 manufacturing jobs, 1.5 million jobs. I mean, so things are moving. We've got more to go. Working class people still have need help. Corporate greed is still at large. Their prices, the corporate profits have doubled since the pandemic. They're coming down. And so I'm optimistic about where things are going.
Folks, with your permission, I'm going to find out whether you have any ice cream cones.